We're going to talk about some cooking. Thanks, Kev. It's time for another segment of Things Alex Sends Me on Instagram. This is like literally one of my favorite <laughs> segments that we do here on 17 News. So, so clearly, Alex, you only go on Instagram when you're very hungry. Apparently. Because all of the videos that you send me are things like bacon bourbon caramel cheesecake, hot chocolate cinnamon rolls. If you remember the last recipe we made, chocolate yeah. chip cannoli cups. So Which all were these fantastic, like combos. by the way. Or this one, we have molten chocolate crackle pie. And yesterday was pie day, so I'm a day late, but I figured it's never a bad day for pie. It's never, it's Friday. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Molten chocolate crackle pie. I've never made a chocolate pie before. And I'm glad that you did today. I am very excited to try this one. Okay, so it's really simple. Um, you want to parlay- Did I send this to you? You did. Oh. You don't remember? Well, it's just, when I, when I see something that looks good, I'm like, oh, that sounds amazing. And then I just send it to you. <laughs> so. There's so many uh, recipes in my it, Instagram it, It's borderline spammy. I'm like borderline No, it is. Like, okay, what is he sending me now? Um, okay, so this one is super <laughs> simple. Parbake yeah. your pie crust. So it's like parbaked, you know. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to be four eggs, one and a half cups of sugar, two teaspoons of instant coffee, which I really like coffee and chocolate together. It mm -hmm. just like oh, amps yeah, it up. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Some vanilla. And then you're going to do your half cup cocoa powder, half teaspoon of salt, and 10 tablespoons of melted butter. The only thing I want to be, I want to say is be careful you don't get like too hot of butter right on your eggs. You could cook your eggs. Right. So mix that all together first. You're just whipping this together with like a hand beater. It's so simple. And then you're going to fold in half a cup of chocolate chunks. What? I, I'm just so excited that you did this. Okay, this now we're going to, I made that, and then you're going to bake it in the oven at 350 for like uh, 45 to 55 minutes. So simple. And then this morning we're going to make the topping. We're gonna do hazelnut whipped cream. Ooh. That oh, that sound sounds amazing. Right? I know. So it's the hazelnut liqueur. Oh, I forgot to mention hazelnut liqueur, um, which is sometimes called Frangelico, goes into there as well. About a tablespoon. And then we're gonna do some in here as well. So you can get a little heavy with the liqueur. I know. Can we do this on sunrise? Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> Ooh, there oh, we go. There we go. There All right, go. you get a little heavy there. Yeah, about a tablespoon, <laughs> right? And then we're just gonna beat this and. You're lucky. I put this on my side, not your side. You ready? Sounds good. There you go. All right. Wait, will All right. you put in some sugar as I beat sure. this? Sure. How much sugar? Just go until you think it's going to be good. What do you mean? There we go. How much well, sugar? That's probably decent. Don't do all of that. Don't do all of it. That's good. All right. I should have probably started this before we yeah. came on camera because it takes a minute to whip. Whip it real good. Do you want to start cutting our pie? Sure. Okay. So, <laughs> I'm not going to whip this all the way. You you get the picture, right? We'll finish this. We'll no, finish I think you should keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Cut our pie. Okay. Okay, so you whip this just until it gets nice and uh, sticky, which is going to take a little bit. I'm going to stop. <laughs> it's going to take the whole time. <laughs> all right, let's slice the pie and at least try oh, the pie. I, I'm going to have you slice it. Okay, fine. I'm all right. And now they say that this is uh, really good when eaten warm. Obviously, I made this last night, so this is kind of hard to cut into. <laughs> Sorry you don't get whipped cream for it, but you can have the whipped cream after. <laughs> all right. I almost, I need like a knife. You know what I need to do is I need to go back and see which, mm. when did I send this to you? I'm going to go back on Instagram. A couple weeks Instagram. ago. I don't know. It wasn't even that long ago. Like I said, you send a lot of them. Are you ready? Oh, of course. Are you ready to see this? Oh, oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh. Can you see? I think you should just How take. How melty that looks on just, the inside. I just, just take a bite just like that. You just put just, it in your face. Yeah. All right, wait. Eliza's got our forks over here. They're, they're right there. Do you see them? Oh, yeah. There. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. <laughs> so, okay, so. Molten chocolate crackle pie. Okay. How is it? Oh, it is. Oh, that is actually really is good. Is it really? No, that is really good. Okay, I'm gonna try. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> That's breakfast. Breakfast of Champions here right here. Breakfast of Champions, molten chocolate crackle pie. Can't go wrong with that. Okay, so two things are going to happen here. I'm going to continue to send things to Maddie. I'll continue to whip this cream. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
And um, yeah, of course, we'll post this on our website, kdet.com. And uh, I will continue to do the hard work of finding good recipes for Maddie to make. You're this really is good at it. It's good. I just sit Two on the successes in a row. I just sit on the couch. I scroll through Instagram <laughs> and send, send, send. And then Maddie cooks for me. So okay. it was great. You're welcome. Right. Cheers. We'll be right back.